I was browsing my local vintage emporium recently when I came across this mysterious black box. My eyes are always drawn to these sorts of things and places like this tend to draw crowds. I only saw it from a distance at first and it had me puzzled for a minute. It wasn't a CB radio, there wasn't a mic socket or signal meter, it wasn't an old car stereo because they didn't really look like this, so I managed to get through the people on that busy Sunday afternoon and get my hands on it. It's a crystal controlled 8 channel receiver, a signal communications core R512. Now it's important to be clear on why this is simply a receiver and not really a scanner. Well, synthesised scanners, as we became crazed with in the late 1980s and 1990s, hadn't really been invented yet. These aren't devices that cover huge portions of spectrum and do all the work for you, they're crystal controlled. Eight crystals to be precise, and you had to know the frequencies you wanted to listen to, buy the crystals for those frequencies and install them yourself. It's true they were marketed as scanners during the late 1970s, but everything on the market at this time was crystal controlled, and it was a few years before we had access to devices that would truly scan portions of the spectrum and present you with a world of frequencies you never knew were out there. This is an airband receiver, and we know this because it has a coverage of 118 to 136 MHz, and if we take a look inside you can see a bank of 8 crystals. It doesn't take much investigation work to figure out that these crystals all correspond to frequencies used by Manchester Airport. Looking back in my 1993 frequency directory enabled me to match them all up. The crystals then had to be matched with the corresponding trimmer dial. They really don't make things like this anymore. It has a solid metal body with a car mounting bracket as well as solid metal thumbscrews and a really nice chrome bezel. Operation is very simple, there's the on off and volume knob, a squelch knob and an earpiece jack which can be used for an external speaker, although there is a built in speaker as well. The auto switch enables you to scan through all of the crystals and stop the scan on a certain channel by flicking over to neutral. Manual allows you to select a specific channel. On the right there's a bank of 8 bulbs which display what channel you're receiving, lowering the switches below locks them out so they're inactive. These R512s were Signal Communications first receiver and they were produced between 1979 and 1984 and came out of Japan before being discontinued. The company went on to produce a range of handhelds like the R528 and R537 which became really popular amongst plane spotters in the early 1980s and can still be found to this day. So let me know if you've ever had one of these in the comments below.